But more broadly, then, if um, colleagues are talking about this with patients or are asked about vapes with patients, what, what sort of things should we be saying? So I've just tried to distill things uh, to kind of one or two sl slides. So um, NICE recommend e-cigarettes for smoking cessation. Um, and they uh, suggest that health professionals should be advising people that when combined with behavioural support, people who use either combination NRT or e-cigarettes or varenicline are more likely to successfully stop smoking. So on one slide, if you've got a patient who asks, you know, is struggling to quit smoking, and they ask you, should I switch to vaping? Then we can say things like, well, ideally it's better to do neither, but lots of people struggle to quit smoking. And e-cigarettes are the most popular quitting aid in this country, and the more effective for helping people stop smoking than nicotine replacement therapy. Any smoking's harmful, so if you're gonna use an e-cigarette, it's really important that you stop smoking completely and just vape. And you need to use your e-cigarette often enough. So if you're smoking daily, you need to switch to vaping daily and you need to do it long enough to prevent you from returning back to smoking. And that's that's re a really important message that people don't come off vaping too quickly because they will relapse. But when people are confident that they won't go back to smoking, then you can advise people where you can just slowly reduce how much you're vaping and then stop vaping altogether. And another th important thing to say is we know a lot about vaping because what I hear a lot of my health professional colleagues say is we just don't know enough about vaping. Um, we know an awful lot about vaping and we can say it's not risk free to people who've never smoked, but it's substantially less harmful than smoking. And getting support from your local Stop Smoking service will improve your chances of quitting. <laughs>